2018 Nissan Sentra Review. Good interior space, a user-friendly cabin plus a buyer-friendly sale price set the Sentra apart. The Nissan Sentra offers straightforward practicality as well as an appealing price. Fears lots of cargo space and plenty of room for passengers. It's also an uncomplicated car to reside in with thanks to simple controls plus a smooth driving experience. That said, nothing in regards to the Sentra shines in the category. Its base engine is probably the slowest available, as well as the optional turbocharged engine lags behind some competitors regarding outright performance. There are rival sedans that provide nicer interiors and greater levels of comfort and technology. A good example may be the Kia Forte, containing an extensive set of optional features for just a reasonable price. Fears also the all-wheel drive Subaru Impreza that's many excellent active precautionary features and driver aids available. Finally, the Honda Civic, when built with its available turbocharged 1.5-liter engine, is our overall favorite vehicle within the class. What's new? For 2018, Nissan has created minor alterations in the Sentra's feature availability. Automatic emergency braking for imminent collisions has become standard coming from all Sentra trim levels. Unless you're able to opt to get a manual transmission, the retail price difference between the Automatis Equipped S and SV is very minor that would recommend picking the Sentra SV. It adds nicer upholstery and interior trimmings, an even better stereo, dual zone climate control, as well as a few other appealing upgrades without adding excessive to the cost. Though nobody is fond in the sluggish base engine, the upgraded turbo engine is often a pricey addition that lessens the Sentra's value proposition, especially in comparison to competitive cars. Trim Levels and Features the 2018 Nissan Sentra sedan exists in S, SV, S, R, SR Turbo, Nismo, and SL trim levels. A 1.8-liter four-cylinder engine rated at 124 horsepower and 125 pound-feet of torque 130 horsepower and 128 lb-ft of torque together with the S trim's manual transmission is standard around the S. SV, SR and SL models. A six-speed manual transmission is standard about the S, plus a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT is optional on that model and standard on all the other Sentras. The base Sentra S incorporates 16-inch steel wheels, automatic headlights, remote keyless entry, air cooling, a height-adjustable driver seat, 6040 split folding rear seat backs, a tilt handless coping steering column, cruise control, trip computer, a 5 inch central touch screen, a rear view camera, and Bluetooth audio connectivity. Automatic emergency braking for imminent front collisions is actually also standard on all CVT equipped center trim levels, except the Nismo. Stepping up on the SV gets you 16 inch alloy wheels. Keyless entry and ignition, upgraded cloth upholstery, a leather wrap tire, dual zone automatic climate control, a six speaker audio system, and satellite radio. The SR gets 17 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, an activity body kit including a rear spoiler, LED headlights, low beams, fog lights, adaptive cruise control, heated mirrors, unique cloth upholstery, and heated front seats. For the two SV and SR, heated front seats and side mirrors, a sunroof along with a 5.8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with navigation are optional. The SR Turbo takes the SR trim and adds a turbocharged 1.6-litre four-cylinder 188 horsepower and 177 lb-ft. Mated to your choice of the six speed manual or perhaps a specially calibrated CVT which has a manual shift mode. Nissan also adds a sports activity tune suspension, recalibrated steering, upgraded front brakes, as well as a sunroof. 
Optional upgrades for your SR and SR Turbo include leather upholstery, an electrical driver seat, an auto dimming mirror, an energy sunroof, a greater touchscreen with navigation, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, plus an 8 speaker Bose head unit with Nissan Connect app connectivity. The Centra Nismo comes using the SR Turbo's features and adds a great deal of Nismo branded trim pieces, for instance, a spoiler. 18-inch wheels, exhaust, grille and badges, along using a unique interior appearance package. It also comes standard with Nissan Connect and also the larger touchscreen, in addition to the 8-speaker Bose stereo audio. The top of the line SL loses the SR's sport-themed flourishes, keeps the 1.8-liter engine, and adds unique 17-inch alloy wheels along with the rear disc brakes, leather upholstery. A six-way power driver seat with power lumbar adjustment, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror, a moonroof, a greater 5.8-inch touchscreen with navigation and voice controls, Nissan Connect, as well as the premium 8-speaker Bose head unit. A blind spot monitoring system with rear cross-traffic alert is usually standard. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically is available in multiple versions which can be fundamentally similar. The S with this review derived from our full test in the 2016 Nissan Sentra SL 1.8 liters in line 4, CVT Automatic, FWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the existing Nissan Sentra has brought some revisions, including a more robust optional turbocharged engine and a few trim level and package feature adjustments. Our findings remain broadly applicable to the year's Nissan Sentra. Performance is not a Sentra strong suit, not even close to it. Acceleration is probably the worst inside class, and braking and handling are just acceptable. But it is free from overtly behaviors, so while unremarkable to operate a vehicle, it may not be irritating during a top transport either. Acceleration The base 1.8-liter engine offers poor acceleration whether coming from a standstill or when passing, that has 060 miles per hour use of 10 seconds that creates the central one with the slowest cars in side class. The significantly stronger turbocharged 1.6-liter should deliver a better experience. Braking. The Sentra's functionality inspires confidence, even though brakes demand a light foot in traffic, where inputs might be sensitive. In our simulated panic stop from 60 miles per hour, the Sentra posted average performance to the class. Steering. The Sentra thankfully lacks the heavy at low speeds, light at high speeds steering effort of some other Nissan products. Effort is correct for easy commuting and maneuvering around parking lots. Fear sufficient feedback, but class leaders fear better. Handling Body roll is basically managed, and overall handling is adequate although rivals give a greater sense control. The Sentra is simply generally outmatched by most competitors on the windy road, although the stiffer sprung SR Turbo and Nismo trims should learn better. Drivability The Sentra gets underway smoothly and humbly goes about its business in traffic or when running errands. This is a simple car drive and automobile as long as you are out on the go. Comfort The Sentra may be a quiet, comfortable air-riding compact sedan. The trouble is that a great many rivals are at the same time, and in addition they provide superior marks in the majority of other areas. The oddly high-mounted seats were an annoyance for many taller, seat comfort. The seats are mounted high. This might give you a slightly more commanding view on the road, nevertheless it cuts into your available headroom, for drivers of above the average height. The front seats will also be quite flat yet simultaneously feel overstuffed with seat material. Ride Comfort Ride comfort is really a strong suit for your Sentra. Small but sharp bumps in city driving are felt from the cabin, yet not unbearably so, plus the highway ride is smooth and composed. 
noise and vibration. The central may be impressively quiet for any small sedan if you go easy around the gas pedal. If you don't, the underpowered engine and CVT conspire to generate loud droning noises a tad reminiscent of a tremendous blender. Interior The Sentra is simple and user-friendly, with controls which do not require navigating any high-touch interface. Visibility can also be quite good, and also the trunk is large. It's one in the more sensible compact cars. Is useful. The infotainment screen is small but refreshingly user-friendly with straightforward, easy-to-watch virtual buttons. Everything important is reached in the driver's seat like the logical, albeit small, tire controls. Getting and jetting out. Getting in and out of the two front and back seat is really a breeze the oddly high seats help within this way no less than. Large door openings and high windows make for convenient entry into this tall roofed sedan. Roominess The Sentra incorporates a large back seat with a good amount of space for adults. The seats, particularly the front passenger one, amounted noticeably high. People of above the average height reported feeling misplaced. Shorter drivers may appreciate the vista. Visibility Large windows and mirrors provide good all-around visibility, and also the standard rear-view camera is really a nice addition. Quality The central acts the polish of your Honda Civic or VW Golf but is nevertheless good for that segment. Frequently touched surfaces such as the center console and elbow rests are well parted generating from quality materials. The plastic switch gear doesn't feel cheap or fragile. Utility The 15.1 cubic foot trunk is large with the class the category, as well as the Sentra's 6040 split folding seat adds some versatility. Center console storage and cup holders are sufficient, but nothing clever. The rear seat has clearly marked latch anchors. Technology The infotainment system is simple to operate, but Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are missing. Automatic emergency braking is standard on all trims, and also a full suite of active safety technologies and driver aids can be purchased on higher trim levels. Yeah. <laughs>